guys, and welcome back to Skyrim VR with me, Duquesne, your Brit in a VR headset. And along for the ride, as always, we have Vigilance the Dog, Jazago, our, our Khajiit with Attitude, and uh, down there somewhere, parked up as a boat, <laughs> is Sony the Horse. But for now, we're going to head into Solitude and actually get our first look. Oh. Hey! Oh, something's actually happening as we walk through the door. That's unusual. Ah, oh, a beheading! I was nearly beheaded. Let's get first view. You betrayed us. Don't look at me. Look at him. Cut his head off. Yada yada yada. Cut his head off. I'm with them. Boo! For, where's the cat and the dog? They'll want a view. Jazago, you're missing it. Oh! Oh, it was beautiful. Hey! Welcome to Solitude. I like it here. This is an exciting place to live. Wonderful, wonderful entertainment they have on. We need to do some shopping while we're here because I haven't been shopping in ages and it'd be lovely to do some shopping. Oh, they've got like actual manhole covers. I'm kind of surprised. I wonder if they have a full sewer system that I'm unaware of. Hello? There's loads of wells everywhere, and a market with nobody here, but it might be really early in the morning, to be fair. We might have to have a wander around the market and the shops on the way back out. The architecture's so different here. This looks very English castle. Very big blocks, and, you know, the... Oh, wow, there's a windmill. I want to go and have a look at that in a minute. But it's big, tall towers. You know, you've got the actual spires. It could very, very nearly be like a bit of Westminster or something. I love those windows up there. I want to go see what that is. I think that's the actual palace, the castle itself. Hello, can I come in? I'm just going by you. I want to look in here. Wow, what's this one? Temple of the Divines. I'm going in. Divine me. A dog's allowed in. Is that not? A, that's not a problem, is it? Wow, actually. Excuse sorry. I <laughs> sorry, I did not mean to barge past you. Goodness. This is different, isn't it? Look at that. That's beautiful. That is so remarkably different to everywhere else. This could easily be a church in real life. Ah, oh, we're here. We can get anything we like. Mara. Julianos. Akatosh. Diabella. Blessings to you. Uh, Kianath. No one. Zenitha. See, I can get most of them, but the odd one, I don't know how to pronounce. RK. Stendar. Oh, and, and, and Steel Death Bell. So, let's go for a bit of Kianath. Because I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. Other blessings removed. All diseases cured. I'm happy with that. If all my diseases are cured, I'm, I'm, I'm a... I'm a very happy guy. That's a very nice jug. Yeah, it's tempting, isn't it? I want this jug. Perhaps if I were hidden, one could accidentally drop the jug into their own inventory. <laughs> How did that happen? But it's a very nice jug. We'll, we'll keep that. Uh, potion of Extra Magicka... Potion of health, they're not that great. I'm exploring, not stealing. Ooh, I, I see a locked door. Requires key? Oh, <laughs> I cannot lockpick it, that's always a shame. Open! This is just a bed. This is no interesting. This is where the slaves live. I don't care about them. I want to see awesome things, but this is a really cool part of the world. I mean, just all the beams of light, all the little bushes and things along the... You've got the pews. These are beautiful. So look at all the engraving on it. I just never noticed any of this stuff before. I feel like I could touch it. It's such a shame that I can't. I really want to. I just never spend enough time looking at the, the true finer details. Stunning work, Bethesda. Let's go up here, though. I want to see what's on the top floor quickly, in case we've missed anything. Are those windows down? That's amazing. So there are rooms over there and over there. That's kind of neat. We need to stick our heads in all the, the second floors. Cool. That's um, that is awesome. Ooh! Can we steal the food? Oh, come on. It's just salmon steak. It's lying around going cold. How is that stealing? 
Go away. Can I just pick... Ooh. Nope, I want to pick up... No, just I'll go out of my way. Steal the cotton. Throw it out the window. <laughs> out here. This goes back to solitude, but we're on the second floor. Mm, let's go check that other room first, just in case. Sprint down one set of stairs, sprint up the other set of stairs, and we're on the other side. Oh, what a lovely little area. Oh, I want this as a room. I want this. I want to live here. I want to live in this building. <laughs> I could chill here. For oh, sorry. No! Well, someone's not going to have their lunch, are they? We'll just... <laughs> I think these are private quarters. These actually are someone's bedroom. They are the luckiest people in Skyrim. Can we jump through the windows? I don't know why I'd want to, but I'm going to try. We can! And there's me leaning through them. <laughs> no one will ever know. Okay, we went down, we went across. So let's go up a floor and sprint out the door. Because I don't want to see what's up here, but um, a floor up. I want to go outside, but a floor up. See if it puts us on like a walkway or a balcony. There's so many layers to solitude. Ooh! Ah! This is everything I wanted! There's a bird as well. Oh, it's gone now. But there was an eagle circling. I think that's a quest. Someone mentioned those. Someone mentioned to me that we could shoot those. I don't know what we get for it, but there you go. If it's really important, let me know and we'll give that a try next time. But for now, I probably won't attack wildlife because um, I don't want to die and upset everybody here. We're going to try and stay nice and calm. I mean, I've got this magic equipped and Jizargo keeps running away as if he's seen something he wants to attack, but that's, but that's not important. Unequipping isn't as easy as it should be. So I just leave things on. Sure. Is that... So is that what this is? It's just continuous walkways? Is it just goes on forever? I feel like I'm in the labyrinth. <laughs> you should touch a wall and there'd be nothing there. I need a little caterpillar to come out and give me the directions. Some amazing views from up here though. I think solitude is definitely best seen from its balcony walkway. That's amazing. Oh, it doesn't go up any higher? People pushing me. First it was Jizargo, now it's Vigilance as well. And no, there isn't. It just looks like there would be. Look, it looks like there's stairs, but there aren't. I just want to get as high up as I can in solitude and get a really good view. Now where are we? Oh, we're back at the beginning. Ah, oh, is his head still there or do they take that away? Ah, oh, they tidy away the head. <laughs> I wanted to keep it as a souvenir. At least the shops might be open. What's this one? Radiant raiment. Not useful. I think that's clothes and stuff. I don't care for clothes. The Winking Skeever. That's food. Need some magic <laughs> things for Jizargo. He's earned it. Bits and pieces. Well, we could pop in, see what they've got. Jizargo just, just deserves something now. He's been following us for ages. He's been wearing the worst armor. He's just taken whatever we've given him. It's time to get him something all of his own. Ding ding! Oh, are you the shop owner? Yes, you are the shop owner. You're just being lazy. Ooh, Dwarven Warhammer. Damage 24. Jizargo, do you feel like a Warhammer guy? Where are you, Jizargo? I think you do. I mean, you've gone a bit ghostly over there, but I think you do. Warhammer it is. Oh, and a Steel Battle Axe. Doesn't do as much damage as a Dwarven one, though, and I think he's probably already got some stuff like that on him. Uh, I'm going to take some potions of healing, because we never do. All of the healing. All of the things. Oh, and regeneration. Yoink. Uh, food. Do we need food? I mean, it's nice to have some ale. I hate cabbage, so stuff that. Carrots. Carrots for the horse, of course. Books. Um... I think we'll go for a few of these and try and investigate because, oh, we've got the spells. <laughs> Nightingales, fact or fiction? Yoink, that'll be one we read later. Thank you very much for your custom. Chizargo, I have a present. Let's give you a gift. This is yours now. Equip it. Oh, you didn't need to. I suppose you've got your sword, don't you? It's probably more damaging, but I was hoping you would use that. I'd like you to. I'm going to take the other thing off of you, out of spite. Oh, no, he's got loads of cool weapons, actually. I suppose he just uses whichever one's best. They all need charging as well. There it is. The Drain Heart Sword absorbs 15 points of stamina. That's actually a bit... I'm taking that off of you. Use something better. 
I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll let you stick with that. There we go. We try to buy him nice things, and he won't even let us do that. Still, as long as he's happy, I guess that's all that matters. Ah, can we go up here? I think this probably just goes up to where we were, but I want to see where that goes. I think it just walks straight back across, but I want to get as near to the windmill as possible because it's awesome. Oh, it goes down? Where does down go? Oh, it loading. That can't be good. Oh, this just comes out down here? That's unusual. That's unexpected. So this is like a fast way out of the entire city, just straight out the bottom of the windmill and down here. That's surreal. Ooh! Ooh, you just look away for a few seconds and suddenly... I swear it was daylight in Solitude 30 seconds ago, but that really doesn't matter when you have this kind of light show. Ah, I'm just laying back on my chair now. That's it, I'm just sitting, I'm laying here. That's um, that's so, so beautiful. It's better than real life. I'll never see this in real life. I could do this forever. That's absolutely stunning. Anyway, back with life. Come on, we've got things to do in a city to explore. I know there's a whole castle up there we haven't even stuck our heads in yet. Getting distracted by the pretty stars. And the four moons. Three moons. Twin moons. By the twin moons. How could I forget? Jazago reminds me so bloody often. Okay, up instead of down. That was the mistake. Up, 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 up. Uh, and then up again, or are we there now? Ooh, we are there. Can't we? I can't really see it, though. Is there no window? I mean, there is here. <gasps> Dee, I mean, that kind of counts. <laughs> we can see it going by. I could try and jump in, could I? Is that possible? But well, it's a little disappointing that's the closest I can get to the windmill, but it's nice to see something big and moving that isn't a dragon or something that wants to kill us. So what's in here then? This is like its own private balcony? The Emperor's Tower. This feels like the wrong way to enter the Emperor's Tower, but let's go for it. We're living on the edge. If you've got an open door, then really that's on you. There wasn't a single sign back there that said, this is private property. I feel like we're in somebody's house, perhaps the Emperor's house, and we've just wandered in off the street. I can't even get in. This is his shed. <laughs> so the rest, his house is locked. No way. Why is everything stealable in here? Sweet rolls. Wait, they're donuts? Ah, I'll never get to see them properly now, but I didn't know that. If I see more, I'm going to have to have a good look now. I just want to steal everything, because why not? I mean, we're in here, no one wants it. If it's all free, of the one, of all the places to find stuff to steal, I did not think it would be the Emperor's bedroom. Maybe everything's not marked here because it's just owned by the state. Gold, fine clothes, hat, food, dinner. <laughs> I steal your things! They're gonna come in and it'll just be bare cupboards. Ah, so many pots and plates. I love that. That's like what I live for. Deck. Oh, I had a skull. I love a human skull. Fine clothes. More things for Jazago if he'd like them later. You never know. We might go to a posh dinner or something in White Run. It'd be a nice thing to do. And we're all good. I think we've got enough black pepper and fine clothes to uh, see us through any dinner evening. Yeah, Jazago. I know you're excited for your new belongings, but. There's no need to do that. Okay, if I jump from here, what will happen? Is this a real place where we are? Sorry, there's me ducking. But I think you all know what I mean, because we used a loading screen to get up here. So does that mean that down there isn't real? Or that uh, we can jump off of it, but it's really silly? No, I think there's an invisible wall. There was me wanting to jump off. Yeah, it's just a vision of what's down there. And we're back on the ground floor. Torch bug? Well, you're bloody huge. Oh, and it flew through a wall. Come back. I'm actually really curious. I've not really seen torch bugs. They're like massive bees. It, no, come back. That's really nice, actually. They are massive. Like, they're a bit big for me. I'd be terrified if that flew in my bedroom in the middle of the night. Really, I would. I'd be out of there in seconds. Far too similar to a spider for me. But, it is a very pretty thing. 
Its incorporeal ghost-like state probably makes it a ghost bug type. Seems to be able to float through objects and walls without a care in the world. Okay, we've done this side, haven't we? So we need to go that way. <laughs> Guard, please don't pay me any attention. I'm not important. Oh my god, there's more. Whoa. Oh yeah, the Bard's College and all of that. This is the most English place I've ever been. In VR, I can't believe I'm saying that about Skyrim. I never once played this and looked around and went, oh, this reminds me of England. And now I'm here. Thank you, game. I don't know if I needed a reward for walking through that archway, but we all deserve praise. Um, but that really is the, the Westminster. I think it's Westminster that has the dome. But yeah, yeah. It looks identical. Scarily so. All of this is very, very lovely. The Blue Palace! Somewhere I'm sure we're welcome. There's no way anything could go wrong. We've only stolen a few things while we've been here. Well, this is nice, again. And the dome. It's a shame there's no paintings on it, but there are some nice, some nice little things I never noticed. You don't get to look up. You never get to look up. Something I must do more of. When we first turned this game on, and we came in and we began our new lives over, what, like 70 episodes ago? I promised I'd look up more, and it's the one thing I'm not doing enough. Strange noises and lights? Needing someone to investigate? Let me speak to you! Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I don't think she's all there. <laughs> she is uh, staring uh, straight through me. Oh, f me. Jesus. <laughs> yep. You did know I'm here. No, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, please wait. Please direct questions to my steward. No, no, it's fine. I heard you talking about that cave. Do you want me to go check it out? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. Apparently not. That's what I'm offering. Okay, fine. She's already got somebody on it. Is that a free staff? Staff of Mage Light. I've already got one of those. If you're gonna have awful things laying around. Very few of them hmm, are, are you magic? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Ooh, you do sell magic! What have you got? I'm all about new spells. Bound Battle Axe! Mine. I think I've already got Bound Sword. 99% I've got Bound Sword as well as the other one. Clairvoyance I don't need. Country Familiar. Is that the same as Conjuring? Babs? I mean, you can't help me at the moment, you're frozen in time, but still, Flame Atronauk, Courage, Fast Healing, that could be useful. Fire Rune, that's when you put a spell, um, basically a mine, <laughs> so I'll go with that. Frost Rune, oh, there's quite a few things here. Fury, oh, I'm getting excited. I think we've already got Lightning Bolt, Muffle, Raise Zombie, Reanimate Corpse, what's the difference? Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you for 120 seconds. Reanimate a more powerful dead body. Excellent. Undead up to level 6 flee for 30 seconds. Do not care for that. Thank you very much, Sib Sibyl. We're off. I mean, we're, apparently we're not supposed to help the Queen. I offered my services and she was all like, Oh no, I think that problem's already in hand. And nothing came up, I didn't get a quest, so we're just going to ask her again and make sure that I haven't missed out. Do you need anyone to fix your cave or not? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. No, you don't. You don't care. Falk. So I need to speak to Falk if I want to do any of that. Touché. Falk. 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 Don't say that too quickly. Uh, you. You. The Queen Lady says about the cave, which you are dealing with, but I don't believe her, so I would like to go and deal with it for you. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? Yes. It's only around the corner as well, Dragon's Bridge. That's fine. We can do that on the way past, or on the way out. Yes. The Man Who Cried Wolf. All right, then. That's not so difficult. Ooh. I heard it. What's that? I hear you talking from very far away, people in the chat. I sense that there's something I've forgotten, and I'm 90% sure... Pelagus's wing. Isn't this um, that god thing? Isn't he here? Isn't that what this is about? Sheogorath! Yes, I need to find Sheogorath's um, stuff. And to do that, I need to go and speak to one of his people, I think, out on the street. So we'll go do that later then, or when we come back. 
or if we bump into him. If I bump into him, then there's no reason why I won't come back and we'll do that soon. Because it doesn't take that long. Might be next episode and I'll just do it in one go. But that's a fun thing. And it would be nice to have the Wabberjack. It's only going to make us more powerful and more dangerous. So, what could possibly go wrong? I did want to stick my he head, my head. I did want to stick my head in the Bard's College while I'm here, because I feel inspired to burst into song every now and then. And who better to teach me? God, they don't mind. Jesus, there's a lot of people around the doorway. It's always so busy in these places. No, I'm looking to apply. Actually, yes, I'm looking to apply to the Bard's College. Asks the college needs completed. God, stop talking. The burning of King Olaf? How could we ever not do the burning of King Olaf? That's blasphemy! Treason, they might say. I'll do everything within my power to make sure that the festival goes ahead. Oh my god, are we done? Thank god for that. Right, we can go and... F Sorry, I'm very nearly for sleep. He wouldn't shut up. We can go and find bits of Olaf's verse in a cave. Gotta go do a bit of dungeon crawling. And in there we'll find little bits. And then when we get back, if I remember rightly, we get to build our own poem and hear someone sing it. You are a big dog, Vigilance! I don't know what your old owner was feeding you, but I'll have to try and find out, because we'll need to keep up that diet. A flute! It's only stolen if everybody sees me. And nobody saw me, so I didn't steal it. It actually just went missing. Okay, so we need to head our way out of here, outside, down to the dockyard, and see if I can't stick my head down into, uh... The East India Trading Company. Goodness me, my head went blank. We need to go down there, and we need to go down to the dock, and uh, a retrieve Sony the horse, and we need. Ooh, are you a crazy man? You are. I think that's you, isn't it? Have a gold piece. Thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Gold removed. Ah, oh, the gift of charity. Are you not the nutter? Are you not Shiagoraf's mate? No? No? Damn. Right, it just gave away a gold for nothing. But still, we're going to make our way down to the dock, retrieve Sony the horse, and stick our head in on the East India Trading Company. Because we did a bit of shopping. It's really nice here. And there's probably lots of things that you're going to want me to stick my head in and do. So I don't want to go too far away. We're going to do a bit of the Bard's College while we're here. It's only a short quest, really. And uh, we can also do a bit of shopping on some of these bits during the day. That'd be a nice plan. <laughs> it took me so long to wander around, it's just been nighttime, daytime, then nighttime again. So I haven't actually gotten much out of it. But it's lovely to explore. And we're back! Ah, the Aurora Borealis has finished. At this time of year, at this time of day, localised entirely in Solitude's garden. Oh, the Khajiit Travellers! I love you people! Warm sands, friend. Warm sands. I have missed you, brother. I don't suppose you could teach me in lockpicking, could you? All right. There we go. So let's, uh, oh god, we got loads of money. Oh, we don't have as much now. We'll do two of them. Oh no, we got loads of cash. There we go, it's fine. We'll do that. Let me come and sit with you. Can I sit in there with you, actually? It's raining. I'll sit next to you. Here we go. Let's have a chat. Uh, no, I don't want to pickpocket. I want to talk to you. Apparently, if you're sat down, it doesn't matter. You have to steal. So I was like, oh, that's not my fault. I just wanted to sit. Uh, he doesn't really have anything that amazing either. I thought maybe this would be a better place to get Jizargo something he'd really like. But there don't really seem to be anything here that would suit a Khajiit. Lots of rings and stuff, but you can't really make them wear them. Wow, that's a big bottle. Potent Magicka po Poison? That says poison. Yoink. And potent poison. I'll have those just because... Ah, uh, we don't have enough gold? How the... How the bludge money did that cost? Okay, well, we've got some very expensive poison. I love the Khajiit. It's so good to see them on their travels. And what perfect weather for it. I'm doing an awful lot of looking up this episode. And it's wonderful. We'll take a wander through this awfully British piece of countryside. The little windmills. Is that a pub? Is it worth sticking our head in there? We might sleep in there. That'll be the end goal, is to go to that pub and get a night... Somewhere to stay for the night, I feel. But first, down here. I don't want to be seen while I'm doing this. So we're going to do as much sneaking as we can. Oh, um, a bit steep, but 
We'll just drop off. Whoop, there we go. That's one. Gently does it, gently does it. I like trying to grab walls and things. It makes me feel like I'm really here. And there we go. Who detected me? Impossible. No one has seen me. Oh, hello. Central warehouse. All of their shipments go through here. What if I just hide behind you? <laughs> really? Really? Is that going to work? I'm going to go for it. I mean, he apparently he can't see me. Is this where we get kicked out? Do we never come back to solitude either? That would suck, because I want to enroll in the college here. We're going in. This is very much against the law. We mustn't get caught. That's the uh, important thing to take away from what we're about to do. Oh, this looks very dangerous. This is big. Huge. Wow. Oh, I should keep my voice down. Wow. Shouldn't really let everybody hear me. There's three of us. I mean, this has got to be a good plan. Okay, we are. We're not trespassing. We're sneaking. We're sneaking. No one knows we're here. This is your last warning. How can it be my last warning? Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go. We need to go. We need to go now. We're leaving. We're leaving. No! I did my best. You caught me. You caught me. I'll pay my fine. I'm so sorry. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods. No, nope. you're not taking my stolen goods. No, nope. that's not happening. I've paid the fine. I'm leaving. No! All of my beautiful things! I will have their heads! This whole city will burn to the ground for what it has done. <laughs> I am furious. I have hundreds of plates and bowls and cups and I've just lost all of them. How much? What's the damage? Tell me. Oh! Monsters! How have they done this? Right, okay, when we come back we are going in there and we're gonna kill everyone. We're gonna do the Bard's College or just quickly get enrolled, whatever needs to be done, and then we are going to literally destroy this place for, for having the dare to take my belongings. I stuck my head in, I did nothing wrong as well, I was just trying to leave. I'm going the exact wrong direction. Okay, here we go, here's the windmill and the way straight down, but I did nothing wrong as well. He said, oh, this is your last warning, and I was like, okay, we have to go then, I won't do anything against him, and then he goes, oh, you got to pay a fine or go to prison. And I'm like, okay, I'll pay a fine and then I'll be on my way. And then you just appear at the prison cell anyway, but you just let off. It's so frustrating. All that work and effort. Well, we'll leave Sony the horse there, I guess, for now. And we'll just go and find a place to stay. I'm pretty sure that we did just pass a tavern up here. And that's where I want to go. I'm not going back into solitude. I don't feel welcome there anymore. The Aurora Borealis, again. I thought this was meant to be a unique and special event. And it is unique, but not so special. It happens all the time. I actually kind of prefer it when it's just a clear sky and you can see like the galaxy and the clouds of like, you know, space debris over the Aurora Borealis, because you see it so often. It does give a great excuse though as to why it's always so bright, because a lot of Skyrim is very bright. In VR they've turned all the darkness and things up a bit, or turned the brightness down a bit, so that you can um, get a true sense of shadows and stuff. Because, I mean, like that, like that there looks so nice, sort of silhouetted against everything that's going on. In moments like this, it really is one of the most beautiful games in VR that exist. Is that our horse? It is! You just appeared at the local stables. Well, that's lucky for you, isn't it? And that was me leaving you down at the dock. I wouldn't have known where you were. How dare you, actually? I wouldn't have known you were here. Are these your mates? Oh, twins as well. Oh, good on you. Well done. I'll leave you to it then. I don't want to interrupt. Uh, that's a farm. I don't care about a farm. I thought this was a tavern. Ah... Can we go in and just ask for a place to stay, or are we sleeping in the stables, like... Mary and Joseph. I think we're marrying Joseph this. We're just going to stay in the one on the right if you're not using it. Oh no, there's some. There's a boy already in here. 
All right then, I guess that's about it. It's a perfect time of night to wrap up. Shame I couldn't find a bed to sleep in, but Sony's found us a place to stay. We're going to be staying with these fine mares. Thank you, didn't mean to bother you. They're, they're having a chat and I, I think I'm intruding. I'm crunching his style. But me, Gisargo and Vigilance are going to curl up over here on the hay, aren't we? See, he's having a lovely time with this random boy who also sleeps outside. And we will see you all in the next glorious episode of Skyrim VR.